Thank you for coming back to Polka Dot Mailbox. And if you're new, welcome. So we've been experimenting with some of these floating gel pens. And I'll just show you some of them off the uh, mark here. So I've got a bunch of sparkles and various materials in here. You can shake them up. And you can kind of see everything that's inside. So I've used some of these little fun sprinkles and I've used some of these sparkles and then I've also added a little bit of glitter. That's for this pen here. And these are all from BB Craft and I like this little monochromatic look that we've got going on here. Let's give it a little shake. And you can see basically there's an air bubble and things will move around but you can see the different types of materials here if i shake it around a bit this one has um, got these clay beads in it so i used a lot of purple and then some little purple sparkles and some different uh can't see there Let's see so it's all like purple so that's fun and then this one i had this really neat bottle of multicolored glitter so i thought that i would put a floating pin together with these colors and you can kind of see uh, we've got all these fun stars and there is a green that matches this pen bottom and the nice thing about this is if let's say you're like well yes this match is good but there's yellow in there too you can always interchange them you could say i'm gonna swap it out i'm gonna put yellow instead so that's really nice so my daughter's made her own pen and she decided she didn't want to have any floating um water at all in hers so let's look at this to see what she's put in hers she did the red one and it's got strawberries and little gold beads and fun little sprinkles. So that's cute. So you don't even have to put water in there and then you just have a fun little pen that has your choice of decorative things. So let's make one. The way that I had been making the floating pens was to use this dollar store glue this was from dollarama and it was just a fine glitter glue and all i would do is i would open up one of these like this and then you take this apart and there's a little stopper here so the stopper comes off and then i've been pouring in my sparkles so i have a little funnel actually look at this how perfect is that you don't need a funnel but it just helps from there being a mess so i'm just going to pour some of these silver sparkles in there we go there nice so i just did that many there and then i'm going to put in some of this glitter some of these oh there they've gone down so just a little bit of this glitter that's the two there so now i can give this a little shake so that the glitter mixes in with the stars and then i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to add my glue like this so i'm going with a monochromatic black and silver pen on this one I'm just going to show you here, I stick this in, I just squirt a little bit like that and then I go and add my water so I'll be right back. So I just go straight to my sink and I add in the water and then I use a paper clip to sort of mix the glue in with the water here like that. And you saw how much glue I put in and I just filled the rest up with water and you can see that there's going to be a little air gap on there. 
I stick the stopper in. Make sure that your little silver ring has stayed in place. I mean, you can take it off if you like at any time. And then I put in the pen and voila. So this is a fun one here that's got all these beautiful sparkles and it's just silver. Is it focusing very well? You can tell how pretty that is. It's so simple. And it could make a cute gift or just a fun little activity to um to do with your kids. My daughter's just in love with her fun little pen. I like that she didn't add any water to hers. That's a fun way to do it. Let's do another one like that. So this is a cute little mix and might look good in this pink pen. It's, and it would actually match well with this also. Also got this really pretty yellow. I really like pink and yellow. What if we did what if we did one that was not water at all? Oops, I'm going on the wrong way. <laughs> oh, this is interesting. Just looking to see how that comes off. I could put something on there and dangle it off. Okay, remember when I noticed that this little top came off? What I did was I took one of these little jump rings and one of the butterflies like this and attached it and I put the cap back on and now look at that I've got this cute little butterfly this is another new one that I made right here and I didn't put any water in this one I thought it turned out cute and then I put a little sticker puffy sticker heart on there that matches the pen I thought that was really cute and here's where I've added the butterflies to four different pens. Now, back to decorating. Okay, anyways. So let's go... Well, actually, it's interesting. So this is what I mean, where you could switch things out. And you could say, okay, I think this would look good on the pink pen. Let's switch it out and see what we think. And there we go. We've got it on the pink pen. And that actually looks pretty great. Maybe we'll leave those two together like that. I do like monochromatic a lot. Now does this match together? Not really. But yellow does. Yellow and do I have any of these kind of proper colors? I took the purple out of here already. This is the color that came out. Nice little pink. I have so many different options that I could put inside of these. I like this little black and silver one. That's pretty nice. Hmm. This one. Oh, I like this. Does this go together? Not really. This could. Sure. Go ahead. Oh yeah, show of the camera what you're doing there. So while I've been experimenting with the pens, my daughter's been making a little box of things and having fun with all of that. <laughs> so I'm just going to try changing these pens out. I still have the silver on. See how this looks with the blue. There we go. Because this has some green in it. That's not the right one. This one has some green in it. I really want to use this green. There we go. Let's, well, actually, let's use our funnel. Even though I'm, <laughs> I've got this wonderful funnel still spilling, so you can see how I can just um, 
move, shake it around so that it falls properly. Like this one is just such a perfect little mix already of colors. And there we go. Then we'll put some more in really. Fill it up to the top. Let's see how this is going to look with just sparkles. There's my little stopper. And here is my green pen. And there we go. So this is what it looks like here. With the green and the sparkles just built into the pen. So you could even just do it like that without any of the liquids inside. So that looks really nice as well. Anyway, lots of fun. I was thinking I could actually make these the Ukrainian colors and do blue and yellow. So blue, yellow, blue, yellow that way. And uh, yeah, and just play with that. So I'm going to leave those ones blank for a while, but you get the idea. I've got some more to make. I'm going to experiment with some of the other creative things that I have. Again, this was an inexpensive glue. It was just a dollar twenty-five, and I just added some warm water at, in that pen, and that seems to have worked just fine and everything's just kind of floating in there and sparkly and fun great so thanks so much for watching i'll leave the link down below for bb crafts if you're interested in getting some of these pens i honestly think i might have to pick up some more because this was a lot of fun and really simple and easy and such a useful item like i i will be ecstatic to use these pens and think about this time that my daughter and I were able to decorate them. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you again next time.